Hello everyone. I wanted to uh, do a short video to show how to do some grouping in your preview. I've seen a lot of questions about that and most people are recommending to use the part of my display to uncheck things and that's kind of the old way to do it. The new way that was actually in version 3 was when they created the model groups and in fact I didn't even know where the part of my display checkbox was because when I started this was feature was already there it was the only way I knew how to use it so I think it's kind of the only way to go if you hit select model groups you can see I have everything selected if I unselect that and say go down and select my candy cane group hit OK that's all you're going to see in the preview is my candy canes and you can see them over here which models are showing hit model groups again and I'll go into edit groups so you can see all these groups I've created I've got all my trees which are my two RGB trees my fire stick is made up of seven segments I've got the icicles there on the upper part of my roof the lower part of my roof these are all the ribbons on the house that are that are uh, pixel nodes I have the candy canes I showed you these are all my lights that are like uh, single channel incandescents and I've got all non RGB elements which is close to the other one there's a couple differences so let me show you a new one. I deleted one just so I could add it back and show you how to do it. If you want to create a group, hit add group. Right there, you can type in a new name. I'm going to call it Mini Trees. I'll go down, find them where are my mini trees. So you select it, hit the right arrow, and just throw those five over there. Hit update group and you see the name just changed and I can close this now if I go down and uncheck candy canes and hit mini trees now my mini trees are what show up in the preview now with any of these model groups selected what I like to do is then I say build whole house model and then I also name that mini trees Now, when you are viewing your sequence elements and you say add models, you will have that mini trees as one of your display elements <coughs> that you can choose. So you could have that up here as well as your five mini trees. So then you could drop an element down here on all the mini trees. Now these aren't RGB so these RGB effects wouldn't work that well. But then let's say well I want to do something different on mini tree 1 then you could do that. So what you just did was you put one effect across all the mini trees and then you superimposed another effect over top of just one of those trees at that spot. And you could even do things like this where you only have that effect for overlaying for part of it and then the rest of that would apply to all five trees for the rest of that duration. So back on the preview page let me also show um, when you go under models you'll notice if I go to many trees and if I click on one of these trees I can go in I can modify and add that model. If I click on many trees you see everything gray out that's because it's a model group so that's how you tell which one of these are groups because the buttons will gray out and not allow you to modify a group so that's pretty much the uh, things I wanted to show real quick on, on a, you know, a better way to deal with, with groups on the preview um, since I have you here the next release that comes out probably sometime today I did a lot of improvements to to drag and drop so you can actually go in here and um, select these regions and this was like one bug 
if you selected a region that had a partial effect it was highlighting the whole cell and it also wasn't working if you went to drag an effect in there it was like <coughs> it was like chewing up that effect so now if I drop an effect it'll actually fill up just that space so let me grab another one you can see as you move the effect around how it kind of fills it'll either fill in between timing marks or it if it sees another effect in there it only fills in the part that's not taken up al already currently or you can drop on top of an existing effect and the other improvement is let's say this effect is partially over there if I hover over the effect it highlights that whole effect so it replaces that whole thing it ignores the timing marks so we thought that's something people are going to want to do they're going to want to be able to replace an effect and not have to worry about it being aligned in a timing mark um, the other improvement is let's say I turn off timing marks or because I've just started the sequence and don't have any yet well we've made it now where you can drop an effect in here and we basically give you a one second a one second effect so this will probably change depending on your zoom level on how good it looks so we'll just have to see if this is a good a good way to do it <coughs> so I can go in and drop an effect in there without any timing marks nearby and we also are smart enough that if you get close to an effect it'll start truncating so you can drop on top of that effect or if you get close to that effect it'll magnetically connect those effects so it's a little bit a little bit nicer way to drop them on there without having to worry about where your timing marks are because timing marks are more of just a suggestion uh, of where you might want to drop something to match you know the beats you've selected your timing marks to align with let's see there's one more thing I think it's already in the version that was released yesterday we added where you could click on the effect to control C click somewhere else control V click control V click control V so you can do some quick cut and paste but that's only for a single effect and I think I've also got it working now where you can click in there and control V into a space that's partially filled that was what my fix last night's gonna do so you won't see that until the next release comes out hopefully sometime today so there's a preview of some of the improvements that, that you will see as soon as we get the next release out. Thanks a lot.